The show we're bringing to the British Council Showcase this year is called The Fisherman. It's an adaptation of Chigozia Obiyama's novel uh, done by Bolhan Obisesan. It's the story of two brothers in Nigeria who meet to relive and reenact a huge family tragedy that's happened to them uh, at, at the site of the tragedy. So they effectively go through uh, um, this enormous family story just the two of them, uh, in order to come to terms with it and to process what they've been through. I was going to become a professor. That's not what you wanted to do. You were supposed to be the family doctor, but you are a lawyer and the Kenya a pilot. We all wanted to be the family pilot. Yes. <laughs> well, the original story is, is a kind of wide family saga. And what we've done with our adaptation is we've funneled that down to um, an encounter between two people, between two brothers. So the two brothers in the story embody the wider family, relatives, and neighbors that there are in the book. So we've done a really radical kind of paring down of the story so that everything is communicated through these two people. Why did you become fishermen? That's easy. So what's the answer? Because we stopped playing football. But why did you stop playing football? We weren't very good. <laughs> you play regularly? Only when father wasn't around. But why? Because Academics are more, more variable than sportsmen. I think one of the big themes that, that, that is in the play um, that, that motivated me to want to put it on stage was really the complexity of sibling relationships. Sibling relationships are also quite performative. When you meet uh, your sibling, you, you're also meeting your parents, so you, you find yourself impersonating a parent or a friend or somebody from your past. So that gave us a really uh, clear kind of way of of, of theatricalizing this story. These two brothers meet and they have so much shared history that they find themselves falling into impersonations and reenactments. Our fishing life must be handled with pride and protection. Ikena was always so serious. <laughs> oh. On these iron hooks, we will set the baits for our fishes. Fish. 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 So it's a really kind of sparse production uh, and it's something where, where uh, the, the elements are really concise and really specific. Our brother was facing the radiation. Her eyes wide open. Fixed into one place. The wooden end of mommy's kitchen knife was sticking out of his neck. The floor was drenched in his blood. River of red. It came true. Stop it! I don't want to do this anymore. The reaction from audiences to the play has been really overwhelming since we opened it in Manchester last summer. It's been something that's really affected people. And I think one of the key things that affects people is the power of the two performances at the center. You know, the two guys uh, who tell this story are kind of mesmerizing to watch. And that's also why they won an award. They won a stage award when they were in Edinburgh. We trail behind our lines. We trail behind our lines. Hook, lines, and sinkers. Hook, lines, and sinkers. We are fishermen. 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 Ben. We're about to avenge our brothers. Creating the fishermen with the two actors was an amazing process because they were a lot more than uh, just performers reading a script. They were, they were theatre makers. They were co-creators. You know, the amount of invention they brought in, the amount of physicality and imagination that they brought to it was, was amazing. Because of my age, the judge deemed me unworthy of life imprisonment or capital punishment and not worthy of juvenile prison because I have committed a murder. I hereby sentence you, Benjamin Ezekiel, to eight years confinement without familial contact until you shall reach the societal maturity age of 18. As a company who program touring work, the big thought in my head is always what are the stories and the cultures that I want to share around the country. 
you know, who are the artists and, and what is not being seen or being heard effectively. So a lot of my kind of cultural diet is from all over the world.